Welcome back, guys, to Deck Night on the Rocks. I'm Homer. I'm Amy. And I'm Lexi. And tonight, we are going to change it up. This will be the first time we've done something different. The first time we've done not just one to taste and tell you what we think. But we're going to take four of our double-barreled or toasted uh, bourbons and give them a taste and see which ones we like better and how they all kind of... Um, I don't know. Which is better? Which death is better? What do they are? You know. What but, we like better. We yeah. Not before, so. Yeah. What we do, what we name any you. We're just gonna tell you what we think, you know. And uh, you can get some pointers off it, or just laugh at it, which is also awesome. But anyway, before we do that, we got. I want to show you what we've got this week. Um, we kind of cut back on our buying because we have way too many, and we have not been able to have time to drink them. So we want to. We're just getting special ones or. So actually, we'll play some ones we like, or when I go to my local store, I gotta buy at least one bottle to keep the relationship going, and then anything else that I find special. So this one we got was the Green River bourbon. So it's nothing special, it's always around, it's 30 something dollars a bottle, but it's the one that I had to, it's the one I got from my local store just to make sure I'm buying something. And uh, I wanted it anyway, and um, I heard a lot of good things about it. So Green River, we give it a try. Next one we got is the old Forrester 1910. It's also one that we're doing tonight. As you can see, it's about gone. So we had to replace it. And uh, they're becoming allocated. As a matter of fact, we talked to a Brown Foreman rep the other day at one of our local liquor stores. And he said that Knoxville is not important enough. So they're shipping them back to Kentucky and Nashville because they like them better. And Chattanooga. Yeah. So Chattanooga and Nashville and Tennessee is going to get it more. We are not getting at it anymore. So around and see it grab it and then here is a big boy for me i was excited i had to grab it the old elk which we love the old elk whiskey we did whiskey which we drank a whole bottle thinking it was the bourbon and i screwed up and it wasn't bourbon it was just whiskey so we drank a whole bottle of that and then we drank about half a bottle of bourbon old elk bourbon which we absolutely love and this is the new old elk four grain and i'm excited to try that that's probably going to be the next video because i want to try this one and it was, this is about $100 a bottle, and I'm, it's a limited release, so I'm sure it'll be hard to find. So if you see one, you should grab it. And then the last one we got was the Cooper Craft 100 proof. Again, it's nothing special, it's always around. It's not, you know, the regular Cooper's Crafts there, the 100 is not always on the shelf, but I see it often, heard a lot of great things, and uh, decided that I might as well grab it while we're out. So we got that one. All right. On to the show. So today, I'm gonna let Amy tell you because I've been talking the whole time. So tell them what we got here. Well, today, I don't know if you want me to them, but don't we have to pop them off? Well, we've already poured them, so. Okay. All right, so I'll tell. The Woodford Reserve Double Oak, it's nothing special. I mean, it's just the Woodford Reserve Double Oak. All four of these are toasted. They've been double barrel, so they did the normal aging in the charred new oak barrels, and then they got a second barreling for a time period, don't know how long, to, uh, in a toasted barrel to give them a little more of the sweet flavor, the, we'll give you more of the chocolates, the marshmallows, the caramel, stuff like that, and make them uh, sweeter, I guess. Probably, probably the newbies would enjoy these better because they're easier to drink. So we got the Woodford Reserve Double Oak, the old Forester 1910, which if you guys know the history behind it, the 1910 was because of the, there was a fire in their brick house distillery, whatever, and they had to, they didn't know what to do. They couldn't, they couldn't bottle them because the machinery and stuff was down. So they just put them in new barrels and that's how all this started. It was this old Forester Brown Foreman product line that just happened to happen. So that's a good history story if y'all want to look that up. We have the Basil Hayden Toast, toasted, and the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. So uh, I'm assuming this is just the standard Basil Hayden that was put into the toast, the second barrel. And the Elijah Craig does say on the bottle that it's just a basic small batch Elijah Craig put in the second barrel. So nothing special about what they what they are. They're just in the second barrel. So as not matching it up, Homer, what is your favorite? Oh, she should. Sure. Well, to be honest with you, we just tried these two tonight. So, um, 
I I like the regular basil, regular basil Hayden. I like the regular Logic Craig. Um, the Woodford Reserve Double Oak was the first one I tried, and it was really good. Uh, but I think I'm gonna have to stick with the Old Forester, the 1910. It's just hard to beat. It's good. So we're gonna give these all a try and maybe change our mind. Right. So. So let's start with. We'll start down here and work our way that way. Okay. So we've got uh, the double oak. It smells very sweet, very um, chocolatey. It's definitely not the common bourbon smell, and it's, it's so sweet on the stick. not in your case, it's, it's sweeter. Very smooth. Sits in the mouth well. Coats very well. Kind of creamy, I guess. You know, like I said, like we said in our previous videos, they are not, turn so they can see that you're not drinking it. Um, they are not, um, I forgot they, how much I like that. They don't have very much kick to them at all. Very easy in the mouth. Really? I don't feel like I don't like the rye cake, I guess. I'm not mm -hmm. feeling the rye cake. I feel it's good. It's on the middle of my tongue. Yeah. But I can I can taste the toasting, the oak. The not the oak, the uh, the toast in it. The chocolate, the marshmallow. See when I first drank this is like what the hell are they talking about chocolate and marshmallow? It tastes like But do you stir it in your mouth? I yet? do. But the uh it's very uh I can I get the toast the oak. The chocolate like the chocolate, the marshmallow's all there, but a little bit of caramel I guess. I don't taste it. Should we just down it now? No. Down for a Very, very smooth. I like that one. It might change the mind. Not come back to old one. Double up here. Oh, Woodford Reserve. You know, this is the only bottle of Woodford Reserve we've had. We don't have any other regular Woodford Reserve until Amy went down to Pensacola and got a bottle of the Kentucky Derby Special and brought it home, which we haven't tried yet. Um, and I like, I, you know, before I, we got on this journey of bourbon enjoyment and tasting and collecting, I always drink with some bourbon bars and stuff and thought it was good. Yeah. But we had some ad with the preserve and I was less than pleased with it. And it was more of a tour. You know, I guess. Bad, bad, hot, bad experience. Kind of ruined it. All right, let me get a little water. I'm going to try the next one. And I put some animal crackers out for in between the food. And, uh, I have a little bit of bottom of heartburn, so I'm putting me some tums out if I get a little come back up. And if you know that bourbon, if you have a hard time with um, heartburn, heartburn, bourbon is not your friend. No, it which sucks for me because I love bourbon and uh, it does create a little bit of a heartburn. So I try to stay on top of that in advance. All right. All right. So one. my favorite 1910 is one of my top three tens, regardless. So top three ten. My top three. Bourbons. Of all, I agree with her. Like, if, if I was telling the top three of what we tried, rare breed, old elk, I think that's. See, now that's still a sweet, but it's a totally different smell. I don't get the, the strong chocolate toast on there. Yeah, that's got more of a. A little more kick. Smooth, too. Very smooth, very easy down. So I, I didn't say this, but the um, double oak is 90 proof, 90.4, and the old Forester is 93 proof. I don't remember what this costs. I think it's around 50, 59 dollars. This one is 50, 59, 50, 49, 50. It's hard to get. Up. This one I don't remember. We had it a little bit. Right. Go ahead, tell me what you think. So good. This one's not as sweet as this one. This one is definitely not as sweet. And, um, it's smooth though. It's smooth, easy on the mouth, coats well. And it, maybe it, I'm just biased. It's definitely not as chocolatey. I like this over Woodford. This is definitely not as chocolatey or as, as uh, sweet as Woodford. See, there's that hard one coming to I just think that it's just a uh, all rounded. Yeah. So we kind of get. Rounded. It's not as much. Of the variant of the typical bourbon expectation. Yeah. I don't know if you can compare those two though. They're <sighs> completely different. 
This one's definitely easier than sweeter. I might have, I might have to get a little, we'll get that, we'll get that. All right, basil hay, now you look at them, you see here, the basil hay is the lightest of them all, so I'm, I'm guessing the age, you know, them have age statements that I've seen. Um, we can probably look them up and find it out, but we're not gonna worry about that today. So I, I'm believing with the color that I'm seeing that the basil hay is definitely the youngest. I think the darkest would be probably the Elijah Craig, and then the double oak, and then the 1910. So we're also looking at, this is 94 proof, this yes. is 80 proof, 93, 93. and 90, 90.4, so okay. the, this is more, okay. so this is the highest, this is the lowest, oh, okay, all right, this is the highest, 80 proof, so this is 80 proof, this is the lowest proof it could possibly be, this is absolutely the lowest, 93, highest, second highest, and third, fourth, on proof, age, same thing. I feel like the age, that the proofs match the age too. Yes. Time. Uh, where we so at? this basically goes back. Eleven. This Eleven. one, the smell of it goes back to your Woodford. You can smell that sweetness, almost like caramel. Yeah, and that's what she didn't see this. I did. It says right there, finished sweet caramel. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, we we had it's got, uh, we had basil hayden for the first time a few weeks ago on our way back from Jamaica at the airport and it was really good and uh, what's it's surprising because it's Jim Beam product and we don't like Jim Beam you don't like Jim we don't like Jim Beam either no well, you don't tell me <laughs> very nutty I smell a lot of very. nutty in there. Mm. oh man that is I, you can tell the proof. There is no kick at all. Smooth uh -huh. in your mouth. You put it in your mouth, you don't taste, you don't get that punch, that Kentucky hug. There is no hug in the basil hayden. But you know, I hear a lot of hate on basil hayden. That might be why. You can almost drink like that with water. I know it. A lot of hate. Basil hayden catches a lot of hate. For why is that? I think it's because it's low proof. You know, I, I don't hear very many people talking because basil hayden is kind of pricey. You know, I guess it's a high end gin bean. But a lot of hate on the basil hay. It's good though. I like it. I don't care about that kick, the Kentucky hug. I like the kick. I, I don't mind it, but I don't need it. If it's something tastes good, it tastes good. And the basil hay tastes good. Now, as far as comparing the posting of these, it is by far not as good as we do. It's not a bad drink. Definitely not a bad pour. Uh, if I'm going to have a toasted bourbon, I'm not going to drink that. This would be my first, second, and third so far. So, um, not bad. And not not something that I would say. But you can taste those notes. I can smell the nut. The nut. You can smell and taste that nut in there. Yum, yum, yum. With some caramel on it. Nothing special. Very nutty. Oh wow. This, okay, so we're on to our lake, Elijah Craig. It's funny because I don't think I would pick up these notes if I wasn't going down here and smelling different ones. Compared to these, if I just did, this is syrup. Straight up, smell that, after you just did that. Because we went ahead and tried this before we um, did our video, and I, I was like, I don't, I don't see the difference. But now that we've done all of them, that's, that's straight up syrup. Did you try it? Thank no. You. Thank you. But it's the darkest too. It's the darkest. It's got a... That has no kick. Very smooth. It Very doesn't thick. coat at all. No? None. Whatsoever. The smell. I can see it coat. No, it's not coating what it looks like. I'm gonna it. Okay. Look how much that coats to where there is no, no edge, no run down. That's pretty good. And that's the highest? Yeah, 94. Wow. Like it, it's got a little cake. I mean, compared to that, a lot. compared to this, there's a lot of cake. That is nice. It's probably, to me, as far as kick goes, I'd say it has the most, but it's close to double oaks close on the cake. I think it tastes a lot like the 1910. 
It's not. Mm. I think those two are. Try it. Try them together. I think those two are close to flavor. So ready? I think hold on, I think they're all good bourbons. I think I would I don't know if I'd buy. Um well let's do our one three four. Okay, so alright. Do first. No, we're gonna do it at the same time. Reach for the one that's number one. Ready? Set go. Alright, so mine's old forester, always has been. Yours is Woodford. All right. Okay, reach for your number two. Really? Drink. Sorry for the spit, that's part of the thing. Okay. Oh, that was good. And number three. <sighs> All right, so that ending, let us know below our comments what your number one, two, three, and four are, or just your favorite. So for me again, one, basically, hell, it's in, it's in order. I lined them up in order. Did I subconsciously do that before we started? One, two, three, four. That's, that was, that's it for me. So yours is one, one two, three, three, four. And that doesn't surprise me because she likes that kick. And this absolutely has, this is like warm. This is super, super weak, but I don't mind kick. Kick, kick doesn't change it for me. It doesn't make me not like it, but it also doesn't make me think I have to have it. So um, that's maybe why I put that third. Uh, but I'm telling you, after I tried this one again, I might be changing my mind. No, you're not allowed to do that. I'm just saying. This is a one and two. I guess it depends on the day, which one's one or two. Which I was going to say, it really depends on your mood when it comes to bourbon. I really, really think that. Well, I do, unless it's for every day. I get drink that every day. True. If you notice every video we've made, we mention rare breed, because it's the best. <laughs> so, one, two. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Now, okay, close your eyes. Close your eyes. All right. What is that? Oh. Drink it. I think they're so mixed together right now, I have no idea. Well, I know, it's some problem. It's with you. Okay, what's that? What? Old Forester. Wrong. Is that a light break? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should have tasted it. But this is, this is easy. Elijah, what's that? Go on. Oh, so that must have been my Forester. Yeah. Or it's not. It was the toasted. <laughs> Actually, I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Anyway, toasted, as you see, wife, closest life mate, person I ever have. And we don't agree. This shit don't make a difference. 
on what I think, what she thinks. We're not going to sit here and say one, two, three, four, and it'll be that way. So you're going to drink what you drink and say, oh, I like Basil Hayden the best, or I like this, though, whatever. It's all on you, man. It's all on you to decide what you like. But what, make what you sure doing? you, you um, ring that bell. Ding, ding, ding. Hit the bell. Hit subscribe. Let us know in the comments. Comment below what you like. Comment about what we've done that makes us, like, could make us better. Or, you know, tell us, do this, do that. Stop doing this, stop that, whatever. Stop being dumb butts. And if you work at Whataburger, hit us up. We'd love to have a sponsor. You notice I wear it every video because Whataburger is the best. Like they said, like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell. Remember, we need... We didn't say... Deck Knight on the Rocks today. So this is Deck Knight on the Rocks. <laughs> Remember, we're just starting. We're new to this. These videos, uh, if you look down there, right up probably in this area, it's got like 10 people, hopefully. We need to get that up to 100, up to 1,000. Help us out. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Like it or not, share it. Let's get this out there. The more shares we get, the better we'll get. Anyway, that's it. Deck Knight on the rocks.